What's up guys, it's the Hunter Project here. Welcome to my channel where you'll find monster hunter news, builds, playthroughs, and everything in between. Be sure to smash the like subscribe buttons if you do enjoy. It is extremely appreciated as we make our way to 400 subscribers. And my statistics have shown that around 93% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. So it would be extremely appreciated if every single person watching could consider hitting that red button. Of course, only if you do enjoy. And stay tuned for a lot more monster hunter content coming your way. Don't forget to join our Discord, link is at the top of the description, and without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Today, I am bringing you a video talking about my favourite thing from Monster Hunter Rise that we've been shown so far, and the part of the game that caught my eye and continues to do so every single time I see the game. That thing is the game's graphics. I think the one area of the game that all of us I think can agree on is how good the graphics are, especially when you consider the fact that it's running on a portable console, so before you start throwing in, oh, world looks better, remember they're running on completely different types of hardware and it's just not fair to expect a game on a portable system to be a, like extremely realistic. And I think Capcom have done an excellent job with the game's visual design. In game, they have done an excellent job with how they have modelled the terrain and the monsters with very good attention to detail for the more minute details in various areas. Two monsters that really stood out to me when they showcased them was Tigrex and Baryoth. Both of them looked extremely good in game with the amount of detail on them and it was just a massive improvement over the previous titles that were on portable systems. One example that stood out to me a lot was the water in Shrine Ruins, which was one of my favourite parts of the map, and I think it really stood out to me every single time that I was running through those areas of the map when I was fighting Mizutsune in the demo, and that was a lot of times, and every single time I would still notice how well done the water's graphics like were done. And I think Capcom really went to work pushing the Switch to its limits, and it really shows. The jump from Generations to this is really astonishing, and shows how good the RE engine and the developers working with the graphics are. Many of you may be wondering why the visuals are my favourite thing about the game, rather than the new gameplay and like the new mechanics. And that simply is due to the fact that the Monster Hunter game loop will always remain the same, and Rise is no different. And that specific game loop is one that I will always love regardless of what happens as long as the base cycle of events is there which is of course we slay monsters, craft their gear, slay bigger ones. I think a big part of why the graphics are so well done is the well chosen Japanese theme as instead of pushing for a realistic design which is a bit unrealistic to be running on today's handheld systems it's going for a more semi realistic stylistic approach which I think it nails. The colours are extremely well saturated and diverse, managing to define the entities on screen with a very crisp shade. And one of the worst things people do is comparing it to World graphics, which are the, the, the graphics from World are running on a device that is more than double the size of the Switch and running exclusively on mains electricity. So it's a bit unfair to make that comparison. Rise is still a massive jump in graphic fidelity for the portable titles and it's mind boggling that these feats are even possible considering that we have an open map design with three monsters active at once. I never could have dreamed I'd be playing a monster hunter back in 2008 in the palm of my hands that looked this damn good. This does bring us to the end of the video guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash the like subscribe buttons, it is extremely appreciated as we make our way to 400 subscribers. Comment down below what you think about Rise's graphics, and don't forget to join our Discord, link is at the top of the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.